sunshine. I look like death warmed up. Not even warmed up, just death. I'm shooting today and look what I've woken up with. That's nice, isn't it? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So, I thought I would just start this vlog here because somebody... Are you going in the shower? No, nope, I'm not. Tom is doing Vegas part two. We're attempting it again. He's off to Vegas today. Place your bets below. Is he getting into Vegas or not? Is he getting to Vegas or not? To be fair. <laughs> he has everything that he needs now to get into Vegas and to be fair we did think this last time But yeah he's heading off to America today and we think it's probably going to be for about two weeks <gasps> I'm going to cry Hello I'm sad I'm going to have to stop recording now because Tommy does have a Zoom call now So I'm going to head up to Glam The reason why he's here with me now is because he's heading off to Heathrow And my shoot was in Surrey So we're basically just staying here together um, And now he's heading off to Heathrow And I'm heading off to my shoot And he's now doing a little Zoom call in his boxer shorts Do you not think you should put some trousers on? Who's going to see my trousers on Zoom call? Me right. Do you love me? I love you my boy I need to get on a call <laughs> No, babe, I've got to get the call, like... Okay, so also, one more thing. He's spending his birthday in Vegas, and it makes me really sad. And you don't even care. I do care. What do I to do uh, for a fucking time? Anyway, right, I've got to stop being annoying now and actually let him crack on with some work. I'm going to go up to get glam. And today's vlog is just... Right, literally... babe, I've, I've really got to get on with it. I know I kind of started this video already with Tommy heading off to Vegas. Today I actually have a really exciting shoot day with Beauty Works and I thought I would just take you along with me today and show you what I get up to on just a normal work day, like a day in the life with me and just, you know, one of those normal vlogs that you guys seem to really, really enjoy. The shoot is actually in a really, really cool location. It's sort of like a set that looks like it's abroad, which is obviously ideal because we can't go abroad at the moment. En route now to the shoot location. It's like 20 minutes away and I've got a Starbucks. I know that I didn't have a Starbucks for like four months when I was eating super super clean but I have reintroduced them back into my diet because to be honest I'm never going to be able to live without them um, so everyone always always asks for my Starbucks order and I don't think I've actually ever said what it is on my YouTube but it's a soya iced chai tea latte with half the amount of chai because I don't like it too strong but the soya milk with the chai latte when it's iced really just hits the spot I've also started having a chai frappuccino recently and that Oh my goodness, like if you've not tried that before and you like chai, ask for a chai frappuccino with no coffee and whipped cream on top and, well, you'll, you'll, you'll thank me later. I'm having, for my breakfast, some oatmeal from Starbucks. It's porridge. I used to get this all the time from Starbucks as well. It's actually such a good breakfast. It sets me up brilliantly for the day. I don't get hungry until lunchtime. Um, so if you've not tried the Starbucks porridge, this isn't a Starbucks ad actually. I don't know why I'm literally plugging Starbucks like this. So after taking multiple wrong turns, we have arrived and it smells like manure. I can't deny. My hair keeps sticking to my lip gloss. That's the problem with wearing lip gloss on a windy day. Holly's got her kit ready, she's ready to rumble. I literally cannot cope with these Shetland ponies that are on set. Like, have you ever seen anything so cute in your life? Hello. Hello. You're my friend. <laughs> Me and my friend. I love it. Hi. running myself a bath because I really need to thaw out like I got so 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 cold on that shoot because we were obviously doing like a summery themed shoot but it's still freezing in the UK like it's literally raining blowing a gale like I still have goosebumps on my arms from the shoot today we've been in the car for about four hours so that's nice but hopefully this bath will sort me out I ate a KFC on the way home which is like the first 
well, it's not the first junk food I've had in ages, but I just fancy some junk food because I thought I've shivered that much today that it doesn't really matter what I have for dinner. And yeah, I'm running myself a nice bath. I'm going to sit in the bath for hours and just thaw out, and then I'm going to put on a nice film and just chill for the evening and put the candles on. But yeah, today's shoot with Beauty World actually went really well. It was a lovely shoot overall. Got everything done that we needed to do. Got something really, really exciting coming out very soon. Good morning, everybody. This is like the funniest thing ever, but it's been a little while since I last spoke to you on this vlog. When I say a while, I may mean a month. Who said that? Yeah, okay, look, it's been a while, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it's been a few weeks, a fair few weeks since I last spoke to you on this vlog. I know you guys aren't gonna judge me for it and I know you're not gonna get annoyed because this is me and this is my channel and you know that that's just typical, really. I've actually changed age in this vlog as well. I've gone from 21 to 22, wow. Um, no, it sounds like, that literally makes it sound like it's been forever, a forever break, but no, it's only been a few weeks. I have just been that crazy, crazy busy. I haven't had any time to even pick up my camera. This is the first time in so, so long that I haven't vlogged my birthday as well, which literally breaks my heart. But because I've been that busy on my birthday, I genuinely couldn't even bring myself to vlog it because I was just... I just wanted to relax and I didn't even relax to be honest like it was quite a stressful birthday in a weird way also I have soaking wet hair and I was planning on heading off to the gym right now I have um something really exciting tonight I actually have like my birthday meal with all my Manchester girls we're going to the Ivy um in city center so yeah I have like 10 of my girls going to that meal tonight and I'm literally so excited to see them all Tommy is now home from Vegas he was in America for around three weeks it was like the longest time we've ever had apart oh my gosh I've just seen another bunch of flowers and I have no idea who these are from. He has a fight on the 5th of June, which is literally in like six days. So he's in full camp right now. So I'm just sort of like helping him through that. Sorry, but I just can't not show you this cake that Fran and Erin and Ellen from my management got me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I got hungry and I cut into his leg and I feel really bad about it. Guys, I don't think you quite understand like this. This is squares bar. I'm not even gonna eat it because I've just brushed my teeth, but this here isn't cake. This is actual like, you know those like squares bars that are like marshmallow -y rice crispy cake bars? Well, the whole, I think maybe the whole cake or maybe just his legs are made of squares bar and the rest is cake. Um, but yeah, this little picture here is of me and Ellie Belly when I was literally like just a few months old. And yeah, this is like the best cake I have ever, ever, ever had. When I saw this in my hotel room in London, I literally nearly started crying. Weirdly, I've still somehow managed to um, sort of not stick to my diet, but I've still like eaten what I wanted to eat, but kind of stay on track. But it's very, 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 very hard when things like this are sitting on the side. Like that's literally all my favorite things, like cupcakes, sweets, chocolate pretzels, cookies, donuts. These were some beautiful flowers that Tommy got me for my birthday and he bought them um, to the lunchtime meal that I had with my family. Family. They were so sweet. These are actually from Sid. I'm sure a lot of you probably watch her on YouTube and follow her on Instagram. So that was so sweet of Sid. These beautiful ones here are from the personal shopper that I use herself, which is called Debbie. She is amazing. And they were like such a nice little surprise from her. I'm not gonna lie, I did have a little Kylie Jenner moment when I received these flowers from PLT. <laughs> these ones are ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna use the flower company that they used to give me these um, because they are absolutely insane. I think I'm actually gonna do a what I got for my birthday video um, because I did that for Christmas with all my Christmas presents and you guys really, really enjoyed that. It's not like a boasting thing. It's genuinely just showing you guys what I got from like my family and stuff and my friends. So I'm gonna film that in the next couple of days. I'm not sure why, but today I am so hungry. I had a really big breakfast. I had like pop I had like porridge and fruit and honey and all that, but I'm literally so hungry and it's only 12 o'clock I ate about an hour ago. So I'm just having some Uncle Ben's rice, some cheese and coleslaw. It sounds pretty disgusting, but it's actually a pretty elite lunch snack. Is this lunch? Probably is lunch, yeah. I'm gonna head to the gym in a minute. Maybe I'll bring you guys with me and show you what I do. I get so nervous at the gym because it's such like a bougie gym. I don't know if you're allowed to film in there. It'll be so embarrassing if I get asked to stop filming. It's mainly just cardio because I'm still scared of weight, but it's better than nothing, okay? Even going to the gym is better than not going to the gym. Even if I just walk into reception and walk out again, it's still like in my head I've been to the gym. Um, that's just how my mind works. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so feeling. much. It must be 60 odd years since I've passed my driving test. Really? Oh, thank you so much. See you. Okay, bye. Oh, do you know what, guys? That's actually so cute because they were the neighbours that we used to beef with. And um, 
he was actually just so nice to me about passing my driving test. So I feel like maybe the dust has settled now. Maybe we don't, maybe, maybe we're all friends now. In the car now, I'm gonna head to the gym. A lot of you have been asking on my Instagram how I'm finding driving by myself and stuff. I don't feel like I'm at the stage yet where I could film a drive with me. I feel like my concentration needs to be on the road. Oh, I'm shaking. It needs to be on the road for um, a little a little while longer before I get the confidence to, you know, start multitasking. But no, it's actually going so well. I've been driving to the gym loads by myself. I just play really, really loud music. And like when I'm at a point where I'm really scared, I'll just start singing to the music to try and distract myself and keep myself calm. I went on a drive with my makeup artist and friend Holly the other day and she was laughing so much every single time I get close to another car or like I'm on a tight road. I just turn the music on and I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just singing my heart out. Because I feel like it's like a coping mechanism for me. Like the way I cope with scary bits of driving is just to sing, sing my heart out. I'm already sweating before I've got to the gym so that's nice but i'm gonna have a little drive there now it's literally only around the corner so this drive is like quite a comfortable drive for me so i've just arrived at the gym now i actually didn't anticipate how i'd feel trying to vlog here i was going to try and vlog in the changing room there but it's a no from me i get so embarrassed um so i will try and show you what i do when i'm out in the gym uh, but it mainly is just cardio also i have horrendously hairy armpits but this is me we're talking about so i'm sure you guys wouldn't expect any less a lovely bit of parallel pa parallel park i mean that just goes to show doesn't it that's a nice bit of reverse parking okay maybe there was no cars there maybe i am literally surrounded by no cars whatsoever but i'm still taking that as a nice bit of reverse parking okay i'm taking i'm taking wins wherever they're available right now like, hang on, let me just put this down so i can actually open the car oh here's a funny one for you tell me you go to a nice gym and live in a nice area without telling me i left my purse and my car keys in the locker unlocked. I thought I put the pin in to lock the locker. I went to go and get my stuff out of the locker there. Locker wide open, locker wide open, all my debit cards in there, cash in my purse and uh, my car keys. Car's still here, P purse was still in there. So do you know what? Very lucky girl right now. I keep forgetting about the car keys. I'm not used to it. Learning to adapt to carrying car keys when I'm already forgetful enough to forget my brain and leave that at home most of the time. Something great happened in the gym. The person that I booked to do my hair for my birthday meal tonight has cancelled. Yay! that's really great so now i'm gonna have to go home and rethink what i'm gonna do with my hair tonight and also probably wash it again because it's all sweaty there's nothing more annoying though when you've had something planned in for weeks and people cancel on you like i'm not normally one to i'm normally like a very forgiving person i'm normally like yeah don't worry about it like it's fine but like this is my birthday meal tonight i've been looking forward to it for so long it's been planned for ages so that is slightly annoying but it's fine i'm just gonna put my ha hairdresser hat on and give myself a nice flicked under bob which is what i wear every single day so i've just come in the door into the little hallway section and these flowers are here oh my goodness the birthday flowers are literally never ending i am so 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 lucky what the hell I need to pour love oh polly oh gosh i just dropped it those flowers are so so beautiful i am literally so spoiled that is so sweet a few hours later i am finally ready for my dinner out with the girls at the ivy it's currently eight o'clock our reservations are 8 30 so we need to be leaving now i just need to tie these little lace bits of my suit this suit is very very cool it's um very, very out there, very different. You guys know I love to wear something a little bit loud. The vibes this morning are immaculate. How's your mood today? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Out of 10? Out so of this will describe my mood. <laughs> there, now what number do you round up to be? A two? Well then, possibly a one. <laughs> so basically Tommy's obviously in full camp, trying to cut weight. And his breakfast looks like what Oliver Twist ate. Gruel. All we ever get is gruel. Can I ask you for a cup of water, please? Cup of water? Yes, sir. Coming right up, sir. Anything else, sir? Would you like ice and lemon in that, sir? No. Just, just a nice cold cup of water, sir. We head over to this part of the living room 
Well, we have. Wow, what a sight. Do you know what? I do appreciate that you put a towel over my MS cushion last night. You didn't want to get it destroyed with tan and Because, you know, makeup. I'm a really nice human and I'm not going to say anything bad or negative on this vlog. I'm going to be a really nice, kind little girly. <laughs> How about that? Now, How would you rate your mood out of 10 this morning? Um, I'm going to say right now, I feel like it's a one because <laughs> I need my breakfast. So make me breakfast, please. So I've got him demanding me to get him ice cold water, ice and lemon. I've got you demanding me to make you breakfast. I'm hungry. I might just, I might just move out. I'm going to make my, myself a more some protein shakes for breakfast because obviously I had my birthday dinner last night, which was lovely. Obviously I didn't vlog because I'm useless. I genuinely, more, how much did we eat last night? Uh, I ate about 16 bao buns. Now you're only meant to have two bao buns. So a serving of bao buns is two. I ate about 16. So I was eat eating food buns? Yeah, oh my God, babe, they were literally unreal. I was eating bao buns like they were just crisps, just popping them in one by one. Um, so yeah, my stomach's not thanking me for that today, but I'm gonna make us some protein shakes and I think we're gonna go out on a nice family walk, aren't we? Well, no, we're gonna- there, won't walk. Yeah, that thing where she more doesn't like going on walks. Um, but we might be going to Tesco. Who's not having a <laughs> Everyone hates me, guys. I actually need to move out. I am feeling so much better now. I've showered, I've washed my hair. I feel like a new person. I've been literally spending so much time on self-care. I know it sounds a bit cliche. I know everyone's always like, oh, you know, you need to spend more time on self-care to love yourself and all this stuff. But I have been uh, taking a lot of extra time to like moisturize when I get out of the shower, use body oils, use hair masks, like take extra, like just taking extra, extra time to just, you know, make myself smell amazing, make myself feel amazing. Um, and it's made such a massive difference to my mood and like how I feel in my own skin and stuff. Like even just having nice smelling moisturized skin almost makes me feel more confident in my own skin. If you're feeling a little bit low or feeling like you lack a little bit of like body confidence or self confidence, take a little bit of extra time to like moisturize and use body oils and use like body sprays when you get out of the shower or the bath. And honestly, like I think you'll feel different for it because I genuinely feel like a new woman since I've started like <laughs> moisturizing properly and that sounds so weird. Obviously at the start of this video, you guys saw me shooting something really exciting with Beauty Works. That was actually my gloss and go hair care kit. It's actually been that long of a gap that I've not vlogged on this vlog for that the kit has come out and it has launched and it is available to buy on Beauty Works. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity just to show you which products I've put in at this point and how I use them and stuff. So in the shower, I popped on my Glossy Locks Vanilla Mask. I use this around one to two times a week. This is now my holy grail favorite, favorite hair mask. It makes my hair smell like an actual vanilla holiday dream. It does recommend that you leave it in for five to 10 minutes, but what I'll do sometimes is shove it in, shave, use my shower gel and stuff, do my other stuff in the shower, like exfoliate, and then I'll wash it out. The products obviously come in this really, really cute white toweling bag, which is so perfect for traveling and for like packing in your suitcase or just keeping in the bathroom and stuff to keep the products all together. Next, I'm gonna use my leave-in conditioner. This is in a mousse form and it's also in the same vanilla scent. It's absolutely incredible. It smells like a dream. And I just take it in my hands like this and just sort of run it through my hair, scrunch it up. If you have kind of curly hair, I imagine you do like the little scrunching technique. I just sort of run this through my hair. You can apply this to wet or dry hair. It doesn't need washing out. This again adds a really, really nice shine to my hair. So I just sort of run it through like this. Oh my gosh, I genuinely could eat my hair right now. It smells that nice. Also in my kit comes the infamous pink comb. I love this comb. I use it pretty much every single day. I like taking it in the shower with me when I put the conditioner or the mask in my hair. I'll just run through my hair with this comb just to make sure I've got no knots in my hair. As you can see, this is the first time brushing my hair up since getting out of the shower and it, there's no knots in it whatsoever. I forgot to mention as well, you can actually buy the Glossy Locks mask in a larger version on Beautyworks website. This is the one that you get inside the kit. If you love it as much as I do, which I'm sure you will, this is the larger version which you can buy separately on Beautyworks website. I have both because I use it that much. And finally in the kit you have your UV protection spray. This can also be sprayed on to wet or dry hair. Absolutely incredible for protecting your hair from the sun. This is absolutely my summer essential hair care product. My hair can really, really change colour when I go in the sun, especially being blonde. I feel like I have to go in the sun once and my hair goes from nice silvery brassy colour to genuinely yellow, like crimson yellow. It's better to be safe than sorry. And we just don't want our hair going brassy yellow or if you've got dark hair, you don't want it changing color as well. So I'm gonna try and have like a no makeup day today. I do need to get a bit of content actually. 
so I don't know, I need to work on what I'm doing today, but I'm so glad I've spent a little bit of extra time now just sorting myself out, sorting my skin out, sorting my hair out, having a nice long shower, I feel like a new woman. I will obviously leave all the details down below and a link for you guys to click through and purchase the Gloss & Go kit. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Myself and Beauty Works have spent so, so long coming up with the products together. This is my first ever hair care kit with Beauty Works, which is such a huge deal to me. Obviously, I've done tools and stuff with them before, like my cow kit, my wave kit, but I've never actually bought out products with them. So this is super, super exciting. And yeah, I'm super proud of this one. Wow, wow, wow. This weather like hello summer you actually decided to show up where have you been for the last two months where have you actually been it's not stopped raining here for roughly two weeks and then the last two days have been like 23 degrees and i couldn't be happier for it just tommy's boxing gloves <laughs> airing i think he's maybe washed these or something i'm not sure i really do want to get some garden furniture to put against the, that bit of wall there the one annoying thing about this balcony is that it's on the wrong side obviously the sun is kind of coming from like up there um so basically the majority of our balcony is in shade which is kind of annoying but um yeah i want to get some chairs or maybe like a little sofa to put here i've actually been standing out here for about half an hour now also letting my hair sort of air dry a little bit i did put the hair dryer on it but didn't dry it fully with the hair dryer i thought i'll let the sun dry it and it's actually done quite a nice job my hair feels so so clean and so fresh i'm also wandering around in my new slides do ignore my fake tan that i still need to scrub off but beauty works actually got me these slides how sick are they penny who owns beauty works just knows me so so well these are literally so sick i'm slider obsessed so yeah thank you so much beauty works for these i've just come back inside now i've actually got quite a bit of work to do today so i'm just going to sit in the living room and look out at the beautiful sun i've left all the doors open so it's just letting the nice warm air come in i'm in such a good mood today i'm sure you guys can fully relate that the weather can just alter your mood so so much there's nothing worse than waking up on a cold rainy day you don't feel motivated to do anything um so yeah, i'm so grateful for the sun right now anyway guys i am going to bring this vlog to a close i feel like at the end of every video at the moment i'm always apologizing for them being very sporadic and all over the place like I genuinely changed age in this vlog Tommy went to America for four weeks like I launched a product with Beauty Works I launched a kit with Beauty Works like, there's been a lot going on in this period of my life I've been so crazy busy um but yeah I'm so glad to be home now I'm just focusing on work and getting things done my next video is hopefully going to be a what I got for my birthday so keep your eyes peeled for that if you stuck around to the end of this video then I love you so much thank you for sticking around and hopefully I will see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>